Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another custom denim DIY. This time we'll be focusing on the theme of anime, but more specifically, Attack on Titan. Now the jeans that we will be using for this custom are a pair of black Armani exchanges. I got this at the thrift store for like, like six bucks. I got these jeans in the size 33, 32, which would normally fit me, but I guess with Armani exchange, they fit a little bit smaller than uh, like Levi's and Wranglers because around the waist, it's it's a little tight. And normally the lowest I can go is a 32, but if I got these pants in a size 32 waist, it would not fit me at all. Like these are barely fitting on me and like it's really tight around my waist. Lengthwise, it's okay. Just the main thing is the waist. So what we gotta do is we gotta open up and make the waist a little bit wider. And then the length, because I like custom jeans to be a little bit more baggy, we're going to open up the hem to elongate the length. Off the bat, you can see that these jeans have a different silhouette than normal jeans. I think these were low key high waisted mom jeans because they were wider in the hips and upper thighs, but tapered inward down the pant leg. I don't know, but it kind of affected the final look, but we're gonna work with it anyways. Now, because the waist is too small, we gotta widen it up a little bit so it would fit more comfortably. Now to do this, we gotta cut out extensions for the waistband. On spare pants, I marked four and a quarter inches from the waist and three fourth inches wide and cut it out. Now on the pants I'm working with, I cut slivers on both sides to where the pocket starts. Since the extension piece was three fourths inches wide, I pinned it onto the inside of the slivers, leaving 1 fourth inches of the middle exposed. Overall, I wanted to add half an inch to the waist, which is why I did 1 fourth inches. Now once it's pinned how you like it, sew it on. Even if you didn't use a matching fabric, your waistband is usually covered anyways, but I think the contrast looks pretty dope. Since the pants are a little short in length, we're gonna extend it a bit by opening up the hem on the bottom of the pant legs to add an extra inch. Like I said at the beginning, these pants fit kind of weird, so when I opened up the hem it went from tapered to tapered and then straight if that makes sense afterwards take an iron and iron it down to remove the hem crease and then sew a straight stitch along the bottom to prevent the fabric from fraying out too much now for the design of the pants i created a mock-up on photoshop to see how it would look like i don't know if you can tell but there is actually more to design than just placing random pictures together like there's an actual story going on but i'll explain that later on in the video because there are some spoilers now in order to be able to print out the correct size pictures i measured the length of the entire den and change the canvas size on Photoshop to that length and then use the ruler to see the length that should print out each picture. Once I was sure I got the correct sizing for each, I printed them out onto fabric transfer paper, cut them out, and then ironed them on. But there you guys have it. Those are the jeans. Hope you guys liked how they turned out. Now, you guys may be thinking like, man, those jeans are just really easy, really simple to do, especially in comparison to the other DIY videos I've done. But there was actually a lot more than just, you know, slapping on random pictures from Attack on Titan. There was a lot of thought that was put into the preparation for this DIY. And by that, I mean the actual design on it. Like it's not just random pictures slapped together. There's an actual story going on. Now I will say that I will be mentioning some spoilers. So if you're not down for that, then do whatever you gotta do. So obviously these pants are about Attack on Titan, but you know, if you watch the show, there's a bunch of characters on there, but on these jeans, I've only chosen three. And that's because I want to showcase the three main friends of the show and how they stuck together from when they were super young all the way from like joining the scouts until the end or not really the end, the show isn't really done yet, but you know what I mean. So on the right pan leg, starting from the top, it has a picture of, you know, Mikasa, Eren, and Armin together when they were younger before they joined the scouts. Then going down, further down the leg, it has individual pictures of them as they're in the scout regiment. And then in the bottom, you can see they're looking up 
at the sky they're on the beach in the last episode of i think it was season three looking out into the horizon kind of like pondering how far they've come you know all the stuff that they've been through and everything like that so it kind of showcases their journey in a sense like in a general sense from beginning to almost the end now moving on to the left pant leg the main story of this leg was to showcase each individual's like importance to the show. So starting off with Aaron, of course, he's the attack Titan. He's the founding Titan and everything. So again, spoilers right there. Obviously he's super important. He's the key to their success. And moving down, you can see we got Mikasa here with a picture of her killing this Titan. And we all know, especially because she's an Ackerman, that she's just, you know, just a straight up badass. And she's really good at She's an Ackerman. <laughs> and then moving down, of course, we have Armin. This is when he went face to face with the Colossal Titan, when he's trying to buy time for Eren to create that crystal wall or whatever it's called. His part was super important because he actually sacrificed himself. He was literally burnt to a crisp and died. <laughs> Uh, just to buy time. So as you can see, there was a little bit more effort put into it than just, you know, slapping on pictures. I'm pretty sure if I wear these out, people won't really know that there is a story. Like I'd probably have to just tell them about it and then they'll come to the realization like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Super simple, super easy to do. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys like this DIY in any way, shape or form, hit that like button, hit that sub button too. I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.